And we are moving to our third participant. The third one is Yuri Stetsenko with a speech, small answers to big questions. Please welcome here Yuri Stetsenko, small answers to big questions. Friends, one minute before I had big data, now I have big unhappy data for you. Because according to one sociological research, 45% of young Ukrainians aged 18 to 29 wish to live abroad. 44% of Ukrainians aged 30 to 39 wish to live abroad also. 43% of Ukrainians after 40 and 50 years old intend to do the same. What is interesting? It's not only about young hot heads to live abroad. It's about the people who are elder than me. And they intend to do it. I tried this idea on myself. Live abroad, work there, but I understand that my legal profession is very, very local profession. If I only could to find a happy place in another country. However, it's never too late. Quit legal profession here in Ukraine, go abroad and start new life. And sweep the streets, carry heavy bricks, work at the farm or drive big garbage truck. I just want to see what romanticism looks like. But seriously, who are responsible for all this idiocy in Ukraine with bureaucracy, corruption, politicians, sky-high utility bills and so on? It seems sometimes that life in Ukraine goes like one crisis after another crisis after another. One problem goes after another problem while the time passes by. How to deal with it? I'm sure that people who were interviewees in the mentioned research put this question themselves. And I think that I found my small answer to this big question how to live with constant problems in the novel by Hemingway, for whom the bell tolls. I will recall briefly the subject of this novel. The main character is Robert Jordan. He is American. As a volunteer, he came to Spain during the Civil War. It was just before the Second World War. He's an expert explorer. He fights on the side of one party, and he got the task to explode the bridge to prevent the enemy's attack. For this goal, he must cooperate with local partisans. Everything goes bad. One partisan betrays. The others are stupid, uneducated guys. The bridge is guarded by many enemies. He is disappointed. He doubts. He understands that performing this task is combined with the dangerous that the partisans will be dying. And all his days are filled with troubles, problems, difficulties. However, Jordan performed the mission, but he and his team must escape. During this escape, his uh, horse was injured and fell down. Robert's leg is broken, he could not move, so he just crawled to the tree and leaned against it. The enemy will come soon and kill him. The last pages of this novel is about the mental state of Robert. His leg hurts, he cannot move, and he lives the last moment of his life. This is a very important description of Hemingway about these last moments. I will cite it. He felt empty, drained, and exhausted. Now, at last, 
there was no problem for him. No longer was there any problem. He was alone with his back against a tree. Here is a key point. There was no problem for Jordan anymore. All his difficulties, troubles, problems there behind him. Was he happy? No. Was he good? No. Just because he lived last moments of his life. As for me, it does not matter where to live and uh, to where. A happy life is wherever we happen not to be. Grow where you are planted. The difficulties and troubles and headlines and uh, probably failures and whatever else will be wherever and always. This is essential part of our human life. All these uncomfortable things can define or not define the awareness of this present moment, Lena, and the happiness of our life. It's well said by Rudyard Kipling in his poem If. If you can feel the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance from you, yours is the earth. And everything is in it. And which is more, you will be a man, my son. Fellow to his masters and guests. This is my small answer to the big question. How to live with constant problems. Let's live life to the fullest with all our ups and downs. What does not kill you? You know what? Thank you.